Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, July 16th. Today's Gospel reading comes from the 11th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. And it's short, but it's powerful in the promise that Jesus gives to his disciples through his words. It reads as follows. Jesus said, Come to me all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And I'm sure many of you remember that these verses were part of the gospel passage for Sunday, July 5th, so just about 11 days ago. And the repetition of scripture verses happens within the Catholic Church because the readings for Sunday and then the readings for the weekdays are on different cycles. Therefore, if you thought the church was not very good at assigning readings because of how frequently some passages occur, you now know that it's done because of these different cycles and they sometimes overlap and passages come up more frequently and they are not linked to the dates on the calendar. But truthfully, hearing these words again, especially during these times of COVID-19, were very good for me, and I hope they're good for you. And a couple things just from my own personal prayer this morning with these words. Now, the word that grabbed my heart and mind in prayer was the word rest. And I believe most of us would probably associate this word with sleeping, napping, or just simply relaxing. We are resting. However, I believe Jesus is trying to tell us through this word rest in the scriptures that he wants us to not be worried, anxious, or stressed. He wants us to rest in him. He wants us to experience freedom from the realities that cause us to struggle. Now, I know there's no doubt that many of us get more sleep when we're not feeling worried, anxious, or stressed. But the words of Christ are inviting us into a rest or a peace that only he can give by us becoming his disciple. Now, what does a disciple of Jesus do? What does it look like? Well, I think we can point out four things. One is is that a disciple of Christ prays every day. And this prayer helps this person to understand how much love, grace, and mercy is being poured into his or her life. Secondly, a disciple of Christ is a grateful person because she or he knows that everything is a gift from God and that they have a responsibility to return that gift back to the Lord with a cheerful heart. It was given to us, and we freely give it away. Third is, as a disciple tries to root out any sinfulness, because sin causes us to be unhappy in the end. I know many of us experience the momentary pleasure of a sin, but what happens is, is that once that quick pleasure, once that instantaneous gratification is done, we always go to where sin leads us to unhappiness, to despair, to the feeling of sadness. So that's why a disciple constantly is striving to root out sin in his or her life. And then finally, a disciple of Christ trusts in him. And this radical trust comes from faith. And furthermore, this radical trust is based in the hope that Jesus will provide for us. But a disciple of Christ does trust wholeheartedly in his or her Lord and Savior. Now, these are four very broad strokes. And furthermore, um, as we, you've heard in many other daily reflections, being a disciple of Christ is more complicated than those four things. But again, those are the touchstones where if we can do those four things... If we can pray, be grateful, root out sin, and furthermore trust in Jesus, I have a feeling we will find the rest that he promises in the scripture reading that I read today. Now, I need to warn all of us 
that the rest that Jesus gives does not come usually from us being pulled out of our lives. But the rest that Jesus gives comes from each of us striving to live our lives differently. The good shepherd guides us to greener pastures because he now gives us the insight through our discipleship of what's most important. What we need to do. The words we need to say. The actions we need to do. So let me give you an example. If, for ex- for most of us, we have a problem, we worry about it. And sometimes worrying about a problem just seems to stifle our entire life. We can't move on in our life until we figure out the problem. So a disciple of Jesus would take that problem to prayer, literally allow the Lord to enter into that problem, and then would try to leave it in prayer. Because there's so many other things that have to happen in our lives, not just that one problem, but also many blessings, many opportunities, many other things that we're called to do. So a disciple of Christ will try to leave that prayer, that problem in prayer, so that Jesus can guide us not only in that area, but in every area of our life. So then when prayer is over, we move about our day. And we try not to let that problem be a constant weight that we carry around in our life. Now this is just one example, and, it, and it's easier said than done, of course. But when everything is given over to Christ, when we surrender our entire life to Christ, we gain the ability to live in the freedom that only he can give. Because the disciplines of being a disciple, all those things I described of being a disciple, are a yoke. But they yoke us to Christ. They allow us to feel the rest and strength that only he can give. And we know this because when we encounter a disciple of Jesus Christ, this person is happy, peaceful, and energized as they do the Lord's work. And this is where the Lord wants each of us to go. But again, in order to get there, we must first decide on how we can grow in our own discipleship how we can enter into the peace and the rest that only Christ can give by taking on the mantle of discipleship. So please be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you this day. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.